Hello everybody, I'm High Treason. There's a good chance you'll have forgotten that. Long time since I've made a video. I'll get back to it eventually. Um, there's a lot of reasons why I'm not. It's, uh, uh, there's a lot of reasons. My health's not 100% at the moment. It's quite far off it, both physical and mental. So making videos and takes it's quite stressful and it doesn't really help at the moment uh, anyways I wasn't going to make anything about this but we'll, we'll take a quick look at something I'm working on uh, this is barely going to be more than three minutes I expect it's probably my shortest video ever um, but yeah my camera stands broke I mean I made this thing myself out of recycled pieces of bike so we're going to have to move this closer because the cable's really short at the moment. If you uh, haven't guessed, I've changed my setup. Everything lives here now. Look at that. We've got uh, the machine down there. That. Bloody hell, it's not going to reach, is it? You know, we've got the pulser, the printer, the switch, the synth down there. We'll take a look at that one day. That thing's kind of awesome. But, uh, yeah. The server lives in yes, the server lives in a, a cupboard over there now. My camera keeps breaking down on me these days. My server keeps breaking down as well. Now it's in that cupboard, I can't get to it. How annoying! Why them old bikes have to be so huge? Oh, jeez. Anyway, this has been uh, my little project here. Um, can't really see it properly. And, uh, well, there's no point anyway until I've finished it. It'll get a proper video of its own at a later time. We're a few pieces short at the moment here. Um, but this is quite heavy. My 286 I've been building. Now, I'd like to say thanks to people all over the world for these parts, mostly America. Uh, this case here is brand new. A guy in America sells them. Is, uh, so thanks a lot, because I obviously live in a country full of technophobes. The hard drive here, and I think that actually came from the UK, I don't even know if it works yet. It's floppy disk drive here, I can't even remember where I got that off. It's not what it was advertised as, it's only 360k. But that's the disks we need to boot this thing anyway, so it'll only boot off 360k disks for some reason. A lot of these old ones are like that problem on my laptop which only has a 720k drive so I can't put 5 inch discs in, how am I supposed to boot it? Bloody hard drive failed it's set up on another machine but it won't boot off the hard disk for whatever reason but that's that's something else to worry about this actually needs floppies to set the hard disk up so which you can't boot off, you have to boot a, a DOS floppy so what a nuisance, I have 5 inch disc with 1.2 meg so this is the innards of my 286 that I've been building um, you know, it's quite interesting. This is basically almost my lifelong dream has been to build something like this. And it's cost me about £400 so far, and the cost is still climbing. But it's worth it occasionally. You've got to spend money on yourself. And you can see the top of the floppy disk drive here. There's a power supply that I, I had spare, so we'll just use that. It's a AT power supply. Um, we've got more parts in here, we've got uh, down there, that's a serial card, there's a parallel card down there. That's the host adapter, that's where the uh, floppy and hard drive cables go. There's two hard drive cables, look. MFM ASDR drive. Uh, two cables per drive. It's, uh, the connector's a bit like SATA actually, even the floppy disks similar. Uh, let's have a look at that. Let's move that in a bit more so you can see. We have uh, this thing. Look, it's like a slot. It's what serial ATA is, if I remember, with a key on one end. Mm, funny how they always bring the old designs back. And unfortunately this is just a video card that has a broken header. The card's broke anyway. It's enough to get a picture, but it's not very reliable. I want an EGA card. I ordered one and the people on eBay couldn't find it. They refunded me immediately though, so a big thank you to them for being very honest because they were over in the United States and it takes a long time for stuff to get here, so I'd probably have forgotten I even ordered it. 
if I if I'm honest. So they, they uh, you know, so and then I'd have been like, hang on, I've never left feedback for that. I wonder what I put it in. So it was very nice of them to be honest with me and say, oh, we can't find it. We've lost it. Here's a refund for everything, including shipping. That, that's great. A lot of people don't refund shipping. But um, nonetheless, yeah, let's have a, an in-depth look at some of the the gear that's going on in here. It's quite interesting. I haven't finished figuring out where all these go yet. There's no markings on the board. don't know what make the board is. But that's our uh, dip RAM there, so that's effectively just the RAM. But the uh, type is DIP, uh, D-I-P. It stands for... Uh, uh, usually DI is dual inline... Um, uh, but I don't know what... Because they're going to DIL sockets, D-I-L, dual inline sockets. Uh, I think it's, they are anyway, I don't know, I can't remember, I'm a bit rusty on things like that, I haven't played with electronics much these days. Uh, unfortunately we've got a 3 inch drive, the odd and even bias. Um, our processor is, I'm sorry I can't get you a closer picture than that, but there's, uh, you can just see it there, it's an AMD 286, runs at 8 megahertz. And everything in here works, by the way, except perhaps the hard drive and that graphics card that's going to be going anyway. That's a real tech. Real tech don't make graphics cards now, to my knowledge. Uh, maybe there's a reason for that, but I don't think so. It's lasted this long. Sound Blaster 16 uh, had a rather nice feature on those sound cards back now. I want an original Sound Blaster in it, though, so I'll be doing that when I get some more money if I get the thing working. But, uh, yeah, let's try and get it. Why did they ever stop putting volume controls on the back? It was nice when all you had handy was headphones. Just to be like, oh, I want to turn it down a bit, it's too loud. <laughs> Why did they remove it? It was silly. Uh, there's nothing else of interest in there, really, to be honest to most people. Uh, we've got the frequencies that the board supports there. So 10 megahertz is its maximum. Bloody hell. That's uh, impressive to say the least. There's a bunch of dip switches and jumpers and stuff on the board. They're not fun to have to set things like that up with no documentation. I'd actually like to say thanks to Adaptec for providing the documentation for this card still. This host adapter. That's very nice of you Adaptec. Because otherwise they've been sat there for ages. I would have figured it out but it would have taken longer. And they will, I will finish up with a shot of the hard drive I think, the hard disk drive here. Bloody hell, this is really awkward to film with a broken camera mount, I'm sorry, I apologise for it. That's too reflective isn't it? But all that large black block, it takes at least two days, is the hard drive. Now that thing when it spins up, you know about it, I've worked with them before, it's not quite as loud as the mini scribe drive, it's a maxter. It's like all embossed, <laughs> like engraved in the top. It's absolutely great. Nowadays maxter's synonymous with the word failure. But back in the 80s, it was uh, pretty well respected. I mean, they invented. I don't think it was IDE they invented, but it might have been. I'm pretty certain it was ESDI the interface that that drive is using that Maxter invented. Um, you know, never see him invent anything now, they don't buy Seagate now. And you know that's a problem, Seagate used to be good, Connor used to be good, oh, that part of Seagate, that, that brand's dead. They came back as excellent store for a while I think, kind of, I don't know, but uh, makes me realise we lost a lot of good stuff. And to be honest, maybe I can make a video about this on its own, but we lost a lot of brilliant ideas. I'm still in... <coughs> <coughs> still got the lens on, haven't I? There we go. We lost a lot of good ideas on the years, not only on computers, on other things. And maybe I can make a small video about that, but... I mean, that's... Uh, yeah, so that's, that's what I've been doing with myself. Anyway, I, d I don't know when I'll be back. You know, I've, I don't see any point in making videos if I don't feel well enough to do it because you know then I'm not going to put as much effort in 
and it's gonna it's gonna come out crap. I mean, I've tried to make them, but they're just bad. I mean, I'm just like oh, this. This is uh, Windows. It's uh, an operating system. It's like it's awful. So you don't want to see that stuff, really. I wouldn't have thought. Yeah, um, but yeah, uh, that's that's what I've been doing myself, as well as working on my bike as well, obviously. So there you go. It's we'll see this thing when it's done. Uh, assuming it works. I mean, everything works. All I can see being a problem is the hard disk. Uh, I hope that works because that was expensive. They cost a lot in my country. So all countries full of technophobes. Literally, none of this gear is of real. Motherboards from the states. The disk controls from the states. The, Every, pretty much all of it's had to come from America and even when it was here it's cheaper to get it shipped from America like oh, let me think well a graphics card is a crap Western Digital EGA graphics card is going to cost around eighteen dollars in the States because it's, it's all worthless nobody cares about it, there's loads of them of rear there's practically not and they'll charge you about a hundred pounds for it it's like uh, uh, why are you doing that it's only going to cost me about 25 pounds to get it shipped from the United States so it still works out cheaper so if you uh, go around buying this old stuff and you live in the UK you might want to think about that always look at the international sellers because it'll probably end up costing you a lot less I'm going to put the lid back on that I'm going to call this a day anyhow. Um, well, it's the start of a day, as you can probably see out of that window there. But uh, yeah, I'll be going to sleep soon, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, I'm high treason. And hopefully I shall be back later. If I'm ever going to just leave the channel and let it die off, I'll, I'll let you all know. I can't see it happening. But uh, yeah, I don't know when the next video is going to be. I'm not going to lie and say that I do, because I don't. I don't know when I'm going to feel better. So, uh, thanks for sticking around. Um, I'll see you again later at some point. Thanks for watching.